all right hey dr smicker um i'm going to do a video about my analysis and i'm going to base it off well i'm gonna talk about critical race theory and the feminist theory i'm going to be using the media um queen and slim that just came out in theaters a couple weeks ago um <clears throat> just like in little summary about the movie i don't know if you've seen it or not but so it's a movie about two african well an african-american couple um a male and a female that were pulled over by an african by white police officer my bad and during that traffic stop um things got weird and crazy um the police the police officer started asking the male about the african-american male about having drugs or having a weapon all of these crazy questions um based on just not having a turn signal and swerving a little um <clears throat> he the police officer told the african-american male to get out the car and he started questioning him start told him to open the trunk of the car and went through all his stuff and made the african-american male like get on his knees um and like oh, what's it called um like threaten him to shoot him and if he kept talking and stuff like that and so then the african-american girl got out the car and then when the police officer saw that <clears throat> saw that she got out of the car he shot at her and grazed her thigh um made her bleed a little and then when the african-american male saw that he started beating on the police officer and was able to reach for the gun and shot the police officer and killed him um the couple got scared um the girl suggested for them to just run away and keep running she's the attorney or a lawyer i think she's she works with something with law and she was like we have to run away and he agreed to that and um they ran away literally they know that the police officer's car recorded what happened and that video went viral after the police officer was found um <clears throat> so they went on this journey to go from oh is it illinois or ohio one of the two um, and they went down to Florida because that's where they were going to escape to go to Cuba. Um, throughout their long, uh, long manhunt that went down, it was six days long. <clears throat> they got help by a couple of people, family members, some old friends to try to escape, to get money, um, to get cars they can use to like run away. And a lot of things happened throughout the movie. And eventually when they got to their final destination where a plane was waiting for them to like cross over from florida to cuba um they were caught and um uh, because somebody snitched on them somebody that was supposed to help them and obviously <clears throat> this person snitched, snitched on them due to money and like the reward they were looking for but to connect this um movie to critical race theory of course i mean first the movie is basically african-americans which i loved when i was in movie theater i was me and my boyfriend um we were the only like hispanics and then everybody else was african-american and that was really weird to see just to even start like to see the movie and to go into the movie um throughout the whole movie i could just feel this like um connection like the the audience with the movie and and how how scared they are um <clears throat> throughout their lives how scared they are because of their color of their skin and how scared they feel when a police officer pulls them over and media has to do with a lot of this with all the police brutalities that have been happening um and it it was it was in an, an experience it wasn't an amazing experience i can say that because this was a tragic like sad movie but like throughout the whole time it was just you could feel this this connection with the movie and and this fear and this empowerment at the end that these the audience felt as well and, and coming like from a minority as well like this fear i felt it i uh, maybe because i am a minority but i don't live in as much fear like they do i mean there's some other aspects that i do but they don't and i felt like after watching this movie i i understood that fear and i understood what they go through maybe it doesn't happen to everybody but like they're just being like told up uh, like they're just scared okay so to connect it to their uh, critical theory so um 
usually in movies, African Americans are always seen as delinquents, the criminals, the killers, um, the drug dealers, and all that. And in this movie, that was the case as well. And so, um, they since they killed the police officer, um, there were two different like groups. So they were seen as like the heroes, and they were seen as the criminals. And obviously, throughout like the African American community, they were seen as heroes due to like after so many police brutality videos and so many like police brutality actions and stuff like that, they were like finally somebody got some revenge in a way. Um, which it shouldn't be that way. It should it sh it should be taken like through another direction. But if it has to get to that point, I feel like I feel like that's where they want to go. Um, but they were seen as heroes they were like don't get them and then they had people help them they there was a mechanic that helped them that he knew who they were his little son helped them like it was like because they were african americans they have this community with one each other it went with one another that they just felt like um like they could help them so they're the heroes of the story but like in other communities mainly african american i mean uh white Caucasian people or even like the news or the police people the police departments obviously they're seen as delinquents because they killed a police officer which it's kind of even in a way but it's not it shouldn't be um but like obviously they wanted to get the criminals because if you do murder somebody even if a personal like self-defense it could still be you know considered a crime even if you ran like if they should have just stayed maybe things would have been different at the end but maybe not due to like how unequal the law system is uh, towards them and all that um <clears throat> this can be connected to um like how excuse me who um how powerless um african americans can feel sometimes because like the government always has seemed to fail them in so many ways and um this was like an awareness saying like, hey, this happens to us. And these are some of the actions that we can take. It's not that we want to take them, but this is what happens. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Um, also, the stereotype for African-Americans is still there. Um, they don't kill it. They're still like trying to like take that stereotype of them being the bad person always in the movies, the bad persons everywhere, people being scared of them. And um, it shouldn't that way. But here, the stereotype was trying to be killed that they were like, oh, she was a lawyer or an attorney. I don't remember what she was really. And then he was like a good, responsible, young African-American man. He didn't even drink. Like he always emphasized that. And like at the end, he did take a drink because he knew that his life was coming to an end. But he was like done with it, you know. Um, he was like a church man and um they like emphasized that a lot too, like religion was really <clears throat> emphasized during this movie. Um and so like they were trying to kill that stereotype, but at the end of the day, like it wasn't. Like they were still the criminals. Um and then we can connect it to the feminist theory as well. Um it was a little bit killed like <clears throat> the the stereotype of what women have to look like in a movie um <clears throat> first she was african-american like i said before <clears throat> i'm so sorry so we'd never really see a african-american woman like be the protagonist of a like or like the main character i think that's the right word um of a movie which is nice because then like girls like her are like hey i can achieve my dreams um she was the other thing is she was well educated she was well self-centered she was very like couldn't like about her and she was like worried about her well-being and everything um she didn't care about the society around her she was like i'm running away i don't care um but there was on the, on the flip on the flip side there were two prostitutes um so obviously it made like there were one of them was latina so it made like latina women look like we prostitutes or or strippers or stuff like that so i made that stereotype of like latina women look bad um also there was one white rich woman that actually helped them like with car and money and a destination to like run away which she still fit all the like the theories about feminism that happened within um 
like movies like she was like she did what her husband said she was really quiet she only talked when her husband said to talk like she was like under control of the man which i mean it was really good because if she would have opened her mouth um like bad things would have happened way before than what they did um i don't think this um movie passed the back back Dell test that's how you pronounce it sorry um i don't think it was like mainly about like saving them and there wasn't like really communication between a woman and a woman i don't think there was even a conversation of women and women and the whole movie um it was maybe as like a group but like individually i mean there was one scene where like they were like taking her hair her braids out and she had to shave her head so she could look a little different than what she did in the video maybe that can be something but i don't think there was a like, like communication between them <sighs> also the love story um at the beginning like she wasn't looking for love like she was just going on a date because she felt alone and she just wanted to have free food i believe i would too um <laughs> Uh, but at the end, they started falling in love. Obviously, they were being manhunted throughout all of America. <clears throat> so they were together all the time. And it was a really weird scene. Like, they were having... It was like a sexual scene. And then it was like a protest scene. And it just didn't really match up. But they just really want to emphasize that love story that there was. Um, which I, should, I don't think they should have. Um... So, yeah, I believe that those two are my theories and they connect pretty well with this movie and they connect really well with other movies. Um, <clears throat> and obviously there's so many other theories you can connect it to, like, wow, well, like queer theory maybe, like with there was no LGBT representation in the movie, um, there was race representation, maybe not the good kind throughout the whole way. Um, <clears throat> and also it made police officers look awful more than what they do um like i'm sure police officers are scared for their life too i mean if they are killed by african americans for revenge then they will be scared to fulfill those jobs but we need our safety too but then yet again the police officers have failed african americans it just depends on what you see it um and yeah, those are my theories. Um, I hope I connected them correctly. I really don't know. And this video is longer than what I thought it was going to be. Um, thank you so much for a great semester and happy holidays.